guys welcome back to my channel guys as you guys can see i am at my desk and you only see me here when i'm going to craft so guys i'm going to make a door swag um i was going to do this previously but um life got busy you know so this is what i'm going to make guys i do have one green tree that i bought because i want to make a i wanted to make a, um ambre so but i only found my two trees my two white trees i think they are white in here let's see yep white uh tree and goodness yeah the way so that and also so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some green to it so since i cannot find a tree i'm going to add green to it i don't know where i'm going with it but whatever comes out that's what i'm going to show you and also um i got some ribbons um this was i thrifted a long time ago um, this I believe is yeah, Dollar Tree, also thrifted. Is I have it forever. Um, also I have some um, pine cones that I collect in one of my walks. Every time I go for my walk with my dog, I collect them because guys, you spray paint them, you could use them for the holidays. So I'm going to use them naturally, and I collect this last year. So I'm going to use them um, naturally. They're not sticky anymore. You know, when you fresh get them, they're sticky because of the sap. But these ones are not sticky anymore. I got that. Of course, I got some, I don't know what, uh, what is this, baby breath? No, these are not baby breath. But anyways, you know, I'm going to use this even though it's white. Um, I got some, um, oh Lord, I always forget this, this flowers. Man, you guys know what these flowers are. And I also have berries, so um, poinsettias. So I'm going to use that. And I also got this pine, uh, pine cone thing from the from Walmart. So I'm going to use this. And I also this is from my stash that I have for quite a while. Uh, yeah, guys. So this is what you see. And also, besides that, this I don't need. I, I just got this. I got a box here with all my crafting supplies. But also I got some um little um things here from the Dollar Tree. Guys, I almost break my head trying to figure it out how do they work. So I figure it out. They have like a little um paper inside. You have to take it out and then you twist it and it lights up. Guys, these are beautiful. So I'm going to see if I incorporate on my um, door hanger swag. So also, um, you're going to need, um, when you're going to use more than one little tree, you're going to need either um, zip tight or Chanel stem. So I think I'm going to use uh, the Chanel stem because my zip ties are red and black. I don't have anything, um, I don't have any clear ones. And I don't want to use glue because if I don't like it, I could always take it apart and redo it again. So, guys, well, let me get started. Let me clear my desk and get started, okay? I'll bring you back, guys. All right, the first thing you got to do is take your uh, little trees and divide the, you know, the stems equal size. So, three, three, you know, like that. Some of them might have like four and some of them might have three, but try to do it equal size. And then um, I did the same thing on this one. And of course, remove your um, things here. Don't throw this away. You could use this for another DIY. And then you're going to um, take them and you're going to put them like so, where one, it fills the spot where there's no, you know what I mean? Because it has a big gap. So you're going to do it like that. And then you're going to use your Chanel stamps and you're going to uh, tie, tie them, okay? Or you're going to use your um, zip ties and tie them. You're going to do that. And then after I do that, I'm going to cut some of these uh, 
garland. It's good to stock up at this. I do have uh, several rolls. So I'm going to um, take some and I'm going to cut some and I'm going to incorporate green in here because I wanted to do a ambre one, but I cannot find my Christmas tree uh, green one. So I'm going to do that. And once I put that together, I'm going to bring you guys right back, okay? And don't worry about this over here because this over here on the top is going to be covered with a bowl that I am going to be doing. And I may bring it a little bit more down because I want it to look long. I don't want the bowl to just cover the tree. So, you know what I mean? But you don't want to bring it too down that it doesn't look like even. See? It all looks like no. So you want to bring it enough that you still could uh, incorporate um, it still look nice and you know as you fluff it out and you add all the other stuff it still look good so i think i'm going to bring it down now i'm not going to leave it one i'm going to bring it down to the second one and i'm going to attach it right there um this is going to look fine because like i said i'm going to add some green um this i'm going to measure it enough that i could uh put it in there and make it look like it's part of it. So you wanna make it fuller, guys. Okay, I cut my pieces. So I cut longer, you know, getting smaller, smaller, smaller. So now what I'm doing is, I did the, the, the top one. So what I'm doing is I'm going between the two trees and I slide it in there, it's easy to do because you still have space for the wire to go through. Okay, so, um, let me I'm sorry guys, let me tilt it down. So you guys go right between, between the two of them. And I'm putting two in each. So, and if you have any, um, and if you have a little hard time going through it, just as long as you push the tip, push the tip, just be careful you don't get poked on the other side. But it's easy to do, as you guys can see. And then I'm taking um, one, and I am twisting it together, okay, to make sure it's in there. Twisting it together, and then turning it to one side. Then I take the other one, I make sure it's right on, on the center, twist it together, and then I turn it to the other side, okay? So you will have, you know, the it will look fuller once you spread it out, okay? So I'm going to continue all the way to the bottom. Here I may take a cut a longer piece. And it's strain it here and strain it down so it has the white and the and the green. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to finish this and then from there I'm going to move on to do my bow. I believe I show you how to make bow, guys. But if you um don't remember, I will link the video either here in this card in the or or in the above card over here, and also I will leave it in the description box below. It is so easy to make bow, guys. Um, all right, so I'm going to finish this. As you guys can see, it's starting to look fuller. It has two little Christmas trees, and I'm doing the green with the garland because I know they sell this at the Dollar Tree, but the times that I have gone, they don't have them. So you just buy a garland, you cut them the length that you want. And that's it. Problem resolved, guys. Okay, guys, I figured out what ribbons I want to use. So I'm going to use the one that says Merry Christmas. The red with the glitter on it. And also this little piece of candy cane ribbon that I have. I'm going to um, put them like so. Okay. And like so. For when I open my bow, it looks full all the way around. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to attach them with using a um not a chanel stem because those got chanel stem but i want it to be nice and tight for it not to come apart so i'm going to be using a um zip tie so i'm going to attach them 
I'm also going to figure out which, um, you know, for the tails. So I'm going to use this little piece that I have here. It says, uh, fa -la -la. I also have one here with a uh, little light. Um, I also got gold, but I don't know if I'm going to use gold. Um, but I may use one of these pieces for it. So I'm going to figure out my tail. Or, or I also have this piece of burlap, green burlap, that I could use also for tail because it's, it's, it's green. So guys, let me attach the ball together, figure it out, cut my tails, and then I bring you guys back. And then we're going to start decorating this part. All right? All right, guys. All right, guys, this is what we're looking like, even though you see this up here, that's going to be covered. But this is what we're looking like without the tails. I do have my tails here that they will be incorporated once I fluff it, I fluff out the, my tree and add my um, other decors. And then we're going to see it in my front door. So yeah, guys, this is what my doors swag um uh, door wreath or whatever you would like to call it looks like it's looking like of course i have to uh flop the bowl some more which i will do that as soon as i hang it up but for now i'm just showing you a little bit of progress and all these end ribbons that you see of course i have i'm going to be uh dovetailing them to give them a better look. I will be adding my DIY stuff that I'm going to put in the center of it. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to be uh, adding my stuff here that I'm going to be utilizing for it. And we're going to continue guys. So let me cut my, um, I don't know if I wanna use the greenery, but I'm going to uh, leave it there just in case. And I do not want to cut them too short because you want to be able to incorporate them with some hot glue, which I have my hot glue gun heating up. So we will be doing that. So guys, I hope you like what I'm putting together for you. Um, I don't do a lot of DIYs, but yes, I do know how to do DIYs. So if people uh, think that I don't know how, but yes, I do. But um, I'm just enjoying what I'm doing. It helps me relax. So why am I missing a poinsettia? Anyways, I'm still gonna keep that stem just in case. Um, and let me cut my cherries here. So yeah, guys, so let me fluff this little, uh, wreath out and work on the top and we take it from there. But I most likely I will be looking for more, um, flowers and greenery to add to it. All right, guys, I'm going to utilize the hole on top of the little tree. As you guys can see, it has a little hole there. Maybe you guys cannot see it right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of my, um, I'm telling you these flowers, you know, one of these flowers, and I'm going to use it to um, uh, place it in there. So I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue on the stem. Guys, when you work with hot glue, please be careful because it gets extremely hot. Lord Jesus, you only know that this thing gets extremely hot. And you, if you get burned. So, this is what we're looking like. I'm trying to fill up the top. I added my tail. I, I added a little pine cone in there. Well, it's not a little one. What I did was I cut one of them and I added the end in there where the where the tails meet the bow. I'm still going to work up here on the top. I want to add some berries. So 
I will be doing that. Yep, I want to do that. And I want to add some of these white flowers in here. But um, I want it to look nice and full. So I'm going to add this here to make it look like so. I may add another poinsettia. I don't know. I do have to adjust this one because I want it to look nice and open. I don't want it to look all crumbled up in there. So yeah, guys, that's what I want to do. All right. So let me work on this poinsettia. I want it to open it nice and open and make it cute. And then I will add, maybe I don't have to add the other stuff to cover that thing, but I want it to look nice and full. So I'm going to um, continue. I'm going to lay my flowers. How do I want them without gluing them? And figure it out if that's what I want them. And then I will glue them afterwards. So I want my swag to look nice to look beautiful so you guys are going to help me decorate it with me so yeah guys i want it to look very nice so i actually don't know if i'm going to be using my um I think that is looking gorgeous. Oh yeah. And then I will cover this little white stem. Oh yeah, this is going to look beautiful guys. And I still have not added my little, oh, oh, that is looking nice, guys. What do you guys think? Isn't that looking beautiful? It's going to look better once I put it at the door. You guys will see it at the door. I still have my little berries that I will be adding. What I do on one side, I will do on the other side. So, yeah, guys. So I'm going to um, finish. See, I'm looking at them from and looking at it from the top to see if I like what I'm what I'm seeing. And once I like what I see, I will glue everything, and then I will take you guys to my front door, and we are going to change my front wreath i actually think i want to add um do i want to add some pine cones i do have some pine cones here maybe at one or two in here in between so let me see what i do guys let me see what i do and i hope you guys like what i put together
child. I'm telling you guys, be careful because that hot glue gets extremely hot. I'm liking the way it's turning now. I want to add something up here. I want to add some cherries. I do have cherries for the top. Or, I don't know, maybe I add a pine cone or so. Here. And here on the other side. Yeah. Let's see what I come up with, guys. But this is what it's looking like so far. Guys, I am done. After I don't know how many burns later, but this is what my door swag looks like i have the same thing on one side i have in another i have the top done i'm going to put it at my front door i'm going to fluff the bow out and you are going to see how gorgeous this door swag looks on my front door so guys let's do that all right and remember, I use everything here is Dollar Tree um, items uh, except the pine cones, which they are from outside when I was in my work. Everything else, Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go through that. So guys, let's go. Let's go with me to my front door. Come on, let's go. I'm going to take you over there. All right, guys, I just took down my fall wreath. I still have my fall sign back there. It says, welcome. I'm going to leave it back there because we're still in fall. And of course, this is a, a fall tree that I have here. So now, are you guys ready to see the wreath? And this is what my door swag looks like, guys. Here we go. What do you guys think? I think it turned out fabulous. I love it. I love it. And it's big, guys. It's not a small one. It's pretty big. So, sorry about the movement. There you got it from the top, the flowers, you know, the pine cones, the bowl, um, my little flowers. I think it turned out gorgeous. I love it. So guys, let me come over here and leave it like I always say. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile. Overall, stay safe, stay healthy. And remember, guys, God loves you. And Debbie also loves you too. It will be into the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good day.